Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Monday, July 27th. Philadelphia police are investigating after somebody torched at least four police cars overnight. Two police vehicles near the 16th Street, 16th District rather, were damaged, as well as two others closer to Center City. Investigators aren't sure what was used to start the fires, and so far police have not made any arrests. The Phillies may have been exposed to COVID-19. Four Miami Marlins team members have reportedly tested positive for the coronavirus, including starting pitcher Jose Urena, who was pulled from the lineup just before Sunday's game. Now, the Marlins decided to stay in Philadelphia last night instead of traveling on to Baltimore. And honoring Congressman John Lewis. Today and tomorrow, the late civil rights leader will lie in state in the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. His casket will be brought to the state capitol in Atlanta on Wednesday, and then a funeral will be held there on Thursday. Shifting to weather now, one of the hottest days of the year on top. Here's meteorologist Larissa Bray. Larissa. That is absolutely right, Janelle. Today is shaping up to be a hot one outside as temperatures soar well into the 90s. The good thing about today, well, the one good thing, is that humidity levels will be relatively low. So widespread heat index values should stay below 100 degrees. Nonetheless, we will be so close to that number, 97 later today. Uh, temperatures will take their time time to get into the 90s, but nonetheless, it's going to be a very hot afternoon, dangerously hot for sensitive groups. So with that being said, just exercise caution. If you can call up a neighbor, let them know that you're thinking of them and just to make sure they are OK. Now, today remains dry, but by tomorrow, we will notice a boundary inch closer and closer to our region out ahead of it. It is going to be hot and humid tomorrow. So aside from the high heat, we're adding on the humidity on Tuesday and we'll see after Afternoon thunderstorms unfold here. 445, you see scattered shower activity. Keep in mind that these storms can pack a punch, leading to heavy rain as well as damaging winds. We should be drying out here to kick off the start of Wednesday, but spotty thunderstorms cannot be ruled out. Janelle will catch some relief from the high humidity by Thursday. Okay, looking forward to that, Larissa. Thank you. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Hope you have a great day. Okay.